नमस्कार वेलकम टीचर्स टू द एन ई पी पी डी पी प्रोग्राम टूडे इज द बैच सेवन डे सिक्स एंड टूडे इज द लास्ट डे ऑफ दिस बैच आई एम प्रोफेसर भास्कर फ्रॉम स्कूल ऑफ साइंसेस इग्नू विथ मी टूडे द एक्सपर्ट इज डॉक्टर निरादर डे असोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन इग्नू just to give a brief introduction about sir sir will be talking today about nep 2020 and teacher education dr niradhar day did his ma mphil and phd in education from sambalpur university orissa and he has got first class first in his career his areas of specialization are research methodology in education educational measurement and evaluation pedagogy of social science odl blended and online education he is doing a lot of activities in ignu he is planning designing developing courses for odl blended and online programs uh, as i said to you he has been an excellent student with first class career and he has been supported by commonwealth of learning scholarship to present papers in hong kong and canada the biggest achievement which he got was the recognition as best program of uh, which he is coordinating ma education program in ignu in the 36th uh, foundation day of ignu organized on 19th november 2021 it is a matter of great uh, prestige to get this uh, kind of honor he has a, uh, more than 20 years teaching experience both in online and offline and he coordinates several programs the key among them are ma in education ba general cbcs education subject and post graduate diploma in adult education he is coordinating a number of courses i am not going to read all those courses what he is doing he has several books several publications but most important is that his courses in swayam are well sought after and he has developed four Uh, courses in swayam understanding disciplines and subjects assessment for learning contemporary india and education and education concept nature and uh, perspective uh, he uses social media extensively for his teaching you will be amazed to know the teacher in him he has developed his own youtube channel uh, transforming education and as expected there are more than 2 lakh viewers several thousand subscribers who regularly listen to his talks he has done several teleconferencing and irc sessions uh, and he has done several projects key among them was that status of state op- open universities funded by icssr project he has been a resource person sought after in many lectures webinars workshops etc with this small introduction i would uh, request uh, him who is also a part of the nep pdp uh, committee in ignu an excellent teacher an excellent human being an excellent colleague to deliver his talk on nep 2020 and teacher education you may just start your uh, lecture sir in a minute thank you professor bhaskar for a nice introduction uh the work uh, that presently uh, i am doing in igno uh the most importantly i am a teacher and i am engaged with uh, uh reaching to my students by using multiple media and uh, <clears throat> today the topic that has been uh, allotted to me for discussion that is national education policy 2020 and teacher education i will be touching upon the important aspect of teacher education that are being uh, included that are recommended in national education policy 2020 let us go forward uh, friends the important discussion points that today we will be deliberating we will be discussing in this session that is uh, first of all why teacher education what is the importance of teacher education then the second important discussion point that is uh, what is the history of teacher education in india 
Before discussing uh, the recommendations of NEP 2020, we should have a background knowledge that uh, what has been done earlier in our country so far as different aspect of teacher education is concerned. Because teacher education is not a today's subject, rather starting from the ancient time, there is the chronological development of teacher education, that how we conceptualize uh, education, the system of education that we have to follow, that we have to uh, practice in our country, then accordingly how uh, we prepare teachers. So keeping in consideration in this session, we will be discussing the very history, very development and the chronology of teacher education. And further, we will be moving to understand teacher education programs currently offered in India. What are the different teacher education programs, teacher education courses that are being offered in India? Then our next discussion point will be the pedagogical and curricular structure of teacher education as per the NEP 2020. As you know, teacher education, preparing teachers or the teacher education programs or mostly the teacher education aspect is not an isolated matter, rather that is somehow related with the school education, the structure, the pedagogical structure, the curricular structure of school education. So keeping in consideration, first uh, we will discuss that what is the new pedagogical and curricular structure of school education as per NAP 2020 and further as per the pedagogical and curricular structure, how we have to prepare the teacher. So that's why this section is also another important discussion point of our discussion today. Then further, uh, the most important aspect that we will be touching, that we will be discussing, that is recommendations on NEP 2020 on teacher education. So these are the certain focused points that we will be deliberating. Now let us go forward. Let me to uh, give certain uh, uh, thought uh, on teachers and teacher education, just like if I will highlight uh, 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 what Rabindranath Tagore says about teacher. Rabindranath Tagore says, a teacher can never truly teach unless he or she is still learning himself or herself. A lamp can never light another lamp unless it continues to burn its own flame. It means it talks a lot about the teacher. One cannot be a teacher uh, without exploring the uh, abilities, the attitudes and the skills that the person is already having. So that's why unless the teachers are empowered, unless the teachers are properly educated, unless the teachers are properly skilled, properly competent, then the teacher cannot teach the students, cannot transmit similar types of learning experiences to the students. So that's why Rabindranath Tagore's uh, concept on teacher and teacher education is very contemporary and you will find in this NEP 2020 that somehow this has been reflected in the fundamental principles of this NEP 2020. Further, let me to focus upon the concept of teacher and teacher education uh, as reflected in different uh, education commissions. Just like if I will highlight the Education Commission 1964-66, it says that the destiny of India is now being saved in her classrooms. We should understand that how much important it is our classroom where we construct, where we prepare uh, the future generation, the future, uh, the citizens for those will, uh, you know, take the responsibility for the development of this country. So that's why, what type of education, what type of experiences, what type, what type of value-based learning we should provide to our learners uh, from the school, from the classroom, uh, so that they can contribute a lot for the national development. So this is the concept that uh, uh, that has been deduced from the Education Commission 1964-66 that we call as the Kothari Commission. 
Further, if I will highlight the National Policy on Education 1986, it says that the status of teacher reflects the socio-cultural ethos of the society. It is said that no people can rise above the level of its teachers. Try to understand the very, the very philosophy of this concept. Now, in NEP 2020, if you will go through the fundamental principles, you will find that uh, uh, the Indian knowledge system, Bharatiya Gyan Parampara, this has been highly highlighted that how we prepare a group of learners, how we prepare a new generation, those will, who will well equipped with the traditional knowledge that we practice in our country. That's called as the Indian knowledge system, which is very much value based. From our culture, there are a lot of things that we understand and we practice from the very beginning from our home environment and when we enter to the larger unit of the society, to the larger unit of the community, we also understand it and we also practice it. So that's why the National Police and Education 1986 is also highlighted on socio-cultural ethos of the society and how it will be uh, reflected in our education system and ultimately how this will, uh, this will included in teacher education program for preparing quality teachers. Then further, if I will go through uh, you know, the concept given by Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, the first president of independent India. Uh, Dr. Radhakrishnan says that uh, instead of celebrating my birthday, it would be proud privilege if 5th September is observed as teacher's day. You see how Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan has given importance to a noble profession or to a teacher. So that's why teacher is the backbone of our country because teacher prepares for the future generation. So keeping in consideration of all such concepts, now let us move to understand uh, the very uh, history of teacher education that has been already done in our country. Let me too, uh, we have very positive time here, limited time within one hour. We have to discuss the vast area of teacher education. Now let me to just touch upon some of the committee and commissions that has been established after the independence. I am not going uh, the development of teacher education before independence because it will take a lot of time. I am just highlighting some of the important work uh, on teacher education after independence. First, uh, I can say that uh, the recommendations relating to University Education Commission, that's called as the, that's uh, popular with the name of Radhakrishnan Commission that was established in 1948-49. Teacher education is a section of this commission, the report of this commission. And the second is Secondary Education Commission that is popularly known as the Mudalyar Commission that was established in 1950-53. Then for the, the National Education Commission, that's called as Kothari Commission, that was established in 1964. Then National Policy on Education, that was established in 1968. The National Commission on Teachers, that's popularly known as Chotopadhyay Committee, that was established in 1983 and 85, 83 to 85. Then for the, the National Policy of Education, 1986. Then revised National Policy of Education, that's called as uh, program of action that is in 1992, then further YESPAL committee report that is in 1993, then the national curriculum framework popularly known as NCF 2005, then further the national knowledge commission NKC that was from 2005 to 2008, then national curriculum framework for teacher education which is a teacher education curriculum framework. Uh, that is developed by NCTE, that's called as NCFTE in 2009. Then the recent, the contemporary and the current development, that is the recommendation relating to teacher education policy NEP 2020. So friends, a uh, lot of things have been done in this country relating uh, teacher education, how we prepare teachers for providing better education, for uh, preparing value-based uh, 
uh, you can say learners further uh, they will take care and they will take the responsibility of the national uh, our national development the development of our country and uh, uh, i am not going through the recommendations of all the committees and commissions that has been developed uh, earlier i am just highlighting some of the uh, recommendations of important commission just like uh, as per the university education commission 1948-49 the commission uh, uh, you know uh, recommends that uh, the nomenclature uh, from teacher training it should be changed to teacher education and further the uh, commission also uh, recommended flexible courses and adaptable to local circumstances that how to develop a proper teacher education curriculum uh, which is very much aligned with our local tradition, our local resources and how we can develop it in a very local circumstances. And today in NEP 2020 also you will find that this has been highlighted that how to use the local resources to train the learner, to educate the learner. Then further course should be remodeled then suitable schools should be used for practical teaching as practical teaching or that's called as the practice teaching or the intensive that is uh, one of the very important part of any teacher education program so that's why the university commission also given its recommendation on uh, you know uh, the practical the proper practical activities should be incorporated in teacher education curriculum then the recommendation is also on more time for school practice because teacher preparing teacher is related with the school based activities the overall the holistic things uh, which is going on in the school so how to link teachers with the school environment with the school climate and further the first conference of training college was held in baroda in 1950 so these are the some of the important aspect that was addressed in University Education Commission in 1948-49 just after the independence and further if I will <coughs> highlight some of the important recommendation of secondary education commission that's called as the Mudaliar Commission in 1950-53 on teacher education. It focuses on training college should be organized, refresher courses, training on extracurricular activities should be there in teacher education program, stipend facilities for the student teachers should be given practical and realistic methods of teaching should be adopted, should be practiced in teacher education program. Then two types of training that is for the primary teachers and as well as for the secondary teachers. It means the teachers who will teach to the primary students, their training will be separate uh, from the teachers who will teach to the secondary students. So these are the certain recommendations. And uh, uh, very quickly uh, to touch upon some of the important recommendations of National Education Commission uh, that is 1964-66 which is called as the Kothari Commission. It recommends that uh, removing isolation of teacher training programs, teacher training programs should be, should be linked with the other discipline, should be linked with the other program, okay. As teacher education is an integrated program or you can say it is a multidisciplinary program. This is not a single discipline oriented program. So that's why the isolation should be removed and proper linking, proper collaboration should be there. And for the establishment of department of education in selected universities was also one of the recommendation. Then establishment of state board of teacher education and further collaboration with schools for practice teaching then duration of teacher education program that is two years for primary teachers and one year for secondary teachers. So it, these were the important recommendation of the National Education Commission 1964-66. And further uh, to focus upon uh, the national policy on education that is called as the first national policy on education, uh, uh, first national policy on education in our country that is 1968, it focuses uh, on teacher education in different aspects just like proper enrollment and service condition for teacher. If, uh, if you will not provide proper service condition, proper working culture, proper working condition in our in institution for the teachers, then teacher cannot uh, perform their duty properly. They cannot 
you know, create a new generation. They, create, they cannot create an efficient and effective new generation. So that's why proper service conditions should be provided to the teachers and further the commission also recommends academic freedom for teachers for independent study and research. So conducting research and uh, uh, the teacher uh, they should involved to work independently with that thought process is also another important aspects, aspects uh, as per uh, uh, the NP in 1968. Because if you will not provide autonomy to the teachers, then the ability of the teachers and what the teachers think, it may not uh, 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 practically possible. And further, the commission also recommends due emphasis on in-service teacher education. You see, India is a huge country. Only pre-service teacher education program cannot address the millions of preparing the millions of teachers. So that's why in-service teacher education programs that we call uh, teacher education in open and distance learning system is also given importance as per the recommendation of this commission. Then further to focus upon the National Commission on Teacher that is uh, in 1983 and 85, it focuses upon four year training course after senior secondary and five year training course leading to graduation and training. So here let me to focus upon. In NAP 2020 today we are talking uh, the ITA program, Integrated Teacher Education program, four year Integrated Teacher Education program. And this, re this recommendation is not today's recommendation. Rather, if you go through the National Commission on Teacher in 1983-85, the commission uh, says that a four year Integrated Teacher Education program should be developed in this country and five year training course should also be developed. And again, it also recommends that uh, for improvement of physical facilities in four year integrated teacher education colleges that it, it requires huge infrastructure, it requires huge resources to operate a four year teacher integrated teacher education program. So that's why the institution should ready, the institution should manage and the institution should create that resources for dealing the students, uh, for dealing the teacher educators and for dealing uh, the teacher trainees. And further, it also recommends implementation of rigorous intensive instead of a simple practice teaching. So let me to uh, focus upon practice teaching is a very narrow concept. Okay, but when we call when we say intensive, it includes practice teaching as well as it also includes the uh, you can say the other things, the day-to-day uh, -day activities that are being conducted that are happened in the school just like starting from morning assembly till assessment and other types of activities. So that's why proper internship should be done uh, in teacher education programs and today in NEP 2020 you will find that this has been this has been uh, highlighted and focused that uh, how rigorous internship should be conducted in in the IT program, in the teacher education, uh, in the integrated teacher education program, the students will go to the schools, the trainee teachers will go to the schools and they will stay their months together and they will earn many experiences and they will earn skills and competencies, how to teach the students, how to deal the students for their total development, for their all round development. For the curriculum includes general and professional education. The commission says that the teacher education curriculum, it should include both uh, general education, the foundation courses, the prospective courses, and at the same time, the school based and uh, the practice oriented practical courses that will help the teachers further to teach the students in the class. And uh, to focus upon very quickly, the other recommendations given by the National Police and Education NPE 1986 that is linking in-service and pre-service teachers education programs. So how to link in-service and pre-service education programs, establishment of district institute of education and training that's called as diet, then upgradation of college of education to college of teacher education that's called as the CTE, today it is functioning, then establishment of institute of advanced studies in education that's called as the IASC, that is also uh, today also it, um, uh, you know the IACs are established in different states and uh, different institutions are there. Then strengthening of SCRT, State Council of Educational Research and Training, 
as per the NCRT. So that they will take up the work for preparing quality teachers and quality teacher educators. Now let me to focus upon after you know understanding or after having a brief uh, historical overview about teacher education uh, programs and the development of teacher, teacher education. Now presently what are the teacher education programs, teacher education courses are being implemented in our country. As you know the NCTE National Council for Teacher Education which is the regulatory body of teacher education program in our country. Presently if you go through NCTE website you will find these are the certain programs are available just like teacher education programs are available just like diploma in teacher education that is DLED then bachelor in elementary education that's called as a BLED bachelor in elementary education then bachelor of education that is BA then master of education that is MA both BA and MA are now two years program then diploma in physical education as you know uh, the discipline of physical education is also an integrated part of teacher education integrated part of school education okay so that's why NCTE National Council for Teacher Education as the regulatory body it, it deals teacher education as well as the physical education so that's why NCT has also uh, you know uh, 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 developed diploma in physical physical education that is uh, DP uh, that is DPED uh, then bachelor uh, then master in physical education that is the MPA BPA and MPA then diploma in elementary education DL in ODL mode open and distance learning mode okay so just like uh, DL uh, diploma in elementary education it functions it operates uh, in the face to face and conventional education system then accordingly the norms have also developed for operating for transacting for implementing the diploma in educa uh, elementary education program that prepares teachers starting from class 1 to class 8 and uh, the curriculum is also available in ODL and uh, teachers are also getting trained uh, in ODL so far as elementary education is concerned. Then further bachelor of education that is BA in ODL just like BA in face to face and conventional education system then accordingly bachelor of education uh, program is also developed by NCTE the curriculum is developed by NCTE and many institutions today currently they are also uh, you know running the BA program in open and distance uh, learning Indira Gandhi National Open University is also very successfully uh, you know uh, uh, implemented this B8 ODL program and this is one of the flagship and one of the very popular program of Indira Gandhi National Open University. Then the other teacher education program just like for the uh, you can say integrated and total holistic development of, of the learners the other programs uh, the curriculums for other teacher education programs are also developed have also developed by the NCTE just like diploma in visual arts diploma in performing arts then BA BA BAC BA four year integrated program try to understand the one and unique and the innovative recommendation of NAP 2020 is the four year integrated program okay to conceptualize a four year integrated program and uh, the notification has already done and now that's called as the ITA program the ITA program has also been implemented. So you will find this curriculum that is in the NCTE web, uh, website. Then further B8 part time program, then B8 MA 3 years integrated program. So accordingly 14 teacher education programs the curriculum uh, uh, for this 14 teacher education programs are developed and it is in the website of NCTE. So these are the present teacher education program that we are practicing. Now friends let us come to understand that uh, how keeping in consideration of the historical development and the present teacher education programs and curriculums and practices that are being uh, uh, that are happening in our country so how we can uh, link it with the recommendations of the national education policy especially on teacher education and uh, now uh, just very quickly uh, let me to highlight that uh, uh, in the document of national education policy you will find that uh, 
the entire 66 pages of the report, the NAP report, you will find this has been developed in four parts. Part 1 is on school education that includes the early childhood care education. Part 2 is on higher education that includes the teacher education aspect also. And part 3 is other key areas of focus that includes professional education and adult and lifelong learning. And part 4 that is making it happen. It means including financial uh, provisions for implementing this NEP and at the same time different implementation aspect that how this policy can be implemented properly. And here in these four parts it will go through, it will go through the documents definitely will find that uh, the component of teacher education is somehow related with the part one that is school education including early childhood care education because in early childhood care education for preparing teachers we require a teacher education program okay for nursery teachers teachers for the foundational stage and at the school education it may be a preparatory stage it may be middle stage and it may be at the secondary stage for preparing teacher we should have a proper teacher education program okay so that's why part one is highly related with the teacher education and in the second part when we talk about higher education then definitely teacher education is a part of it and this has been reflected. So these are the four important parts for uh, keeping in consideration the NEP report has been conceptual, conceptualized and now let me to focus upon that I was talking earlier the pedagogical and curricular structure of school education and how it differs from the earlier uh, academic structure earlier academic structure as per national police and education 1986 that was a 12 years of school education just like 10 plus 2 system of education 10 years of school education up to 10th board and then after 2 years of senior secondary or higher secondary education that include includes class 11th and class 12th but now as per the new pedagogical and curricular structure uh, <coughs> you will find from this document that uh, now the entire school education has been classified in four different stages that is called as the foundational stage, preparatory stage, middle stage and secondary stage. Foundational stage is of five years that is the first three years is the nursery education that is Anganbadi, preschool and Balbatic education and uh, that includes another two years that is class one and class two from the formal schooling. So, it includes with the nursery so that the foundational stage will be the five years. Then preparatory stage is of three years that starts from class three to class five and age range will be age eight to age 11. Then middle stage education uh, that includes class six to class eight, six, seven and eight. Age appropriation will be 11 to 14. Then accordingly, Secondary education it includes four years of secondary education that is class 9 to class 12, class 9, class 10, class 11 and class 12 and, and age appropriation will it starts from age 14 to 18, 14, 15, 16 uh, 14, uh, to 18. So these 15 years of school education that has uh, that is the new curricular structure now. Why I am highlighting this school education curricular structure because Accordingly, accordingly the new pedagogical structure, new curricular structure we have to prepare the teacher. Then accordingly we have to conceptualize the teacher education programs. We have to, we have to develop the teacher education program accordingly. So that is why teacher is required for dealing the foundational stage students, for preparatory stage stu students, for middle uh, stage students and at the same time for the secondary stage students. So that is why accordingly we have to prepare teacher education. Now, uh, let me to very briefly focus upon the important aspects that are included in the teacher education as per teacher education uh, uh, component in NEP 2020. First of all, teacher preparation is an activity that requires multidisciplinary perspectives and knowledge, formation of dispositions and values and development of practice under the best mentor. So try to understand as I was talking earlier in the fundamental principles of this NEP 2020, it also focus upon the multidisciplinarity of education system. Okay. So when we conceptualize teacher education, 
directly or indirectly we address many disciplines multiple disciplines okay because in teacher education uh, you will find that many pedagogy courses are there just like just like pedagogy of mathematics pedagogy of science pedagogy of social science pedagogy of different languages it may be uh, regional languages it may be english literature it may be hindi so here unless we uh, you know establish a multidisciplinary culture in our educational institutions we cannot prepare good teacher education program we cannot prepare good teachers and our teacher education program should be value based and it should be with proper mentoring and again the other recommendations are just like teacher must be grounded in indian values languages knowledge ethos and traditions that includes tribal traditions while also being well versed in the latest advances in education and pedagogy so try to understand we are talking about the iks bharatiya gyan parampara india indian knowledge system so what is this indian knowledge system unless we incorporate the values our cultural diversity is the you can say the rich practices that we do from rural india from remote india to the urban india we cannot we cannot prepare good citizens we cannot uh, create uh, value based teachers value based uh, citizens so that's why we have to we have to uh, change our teacher education program so that's why this has been highlighted in the teacher education uh, 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 as per uh, in the nep 2020 the other important recommendations if i will go through the justice js burma commission in 2012 this has been highlighted in the report of the nep 2020 justice js burma commission says that the teacher education sector and its regulatory system are therefore in urgent need of revitalization through radical action radical change a drastic change in order to raise standards and restore integrity credibility efficacy and high quality to the teacher education system try to understand js burma commission has raised many issues that uh, how to revamp how to make a paradigm shift in teacher education program because it is the need of the time we should restore the integrity of teachers we should restore the credibility of the teacher we should develop the efficacy the efficiency among the teachers and at the same time we should develop high quality teachers we should create high quality teachers so how it is possible unless we transform the system unless we prepare a good curriculum unless dedicatedly we work with teacher education we cannot prepare good teacher so that's why justice js burma commission uh, uh, it is it is it is focused in the nep 2020 and accordingly the government is also working and for the teacher the other recommendations are teacher education in nep 2020 you see uh, the nep uh, highlighted and focused that by 2030 only educationally sound multidisciplinary and integrated teacher education programs shall be in force try to understand so now as i was talking earlier that uh, what are the different teacher education programs that are being practiced uh, uh, today in our country as per ncte as per the regulatory body but by 2030 you will find that the teacher education program will be offered only in the multidisciplinary institutions where disciplinary practices will be there from multiple disciplines okay so teachers will get holistic knowledge integrated knowledge it is not only knowledge relating to pedagogy rather knowledge relating to to their interest of subject so that's why how to do it and by 2030 you will find that only one teacher education program will uh, continue in this country will offer in this country that's called as the itap integrated teacher education program and slowly this two years program and other programs uh by 2030 uh, uh, today i cannot say in future what will happen but definitely uh, the recommendation says that by 2030 we have the we have only it program and that will be offered uh, 
uh, by the multidisciplinary practices in institutions. Then all teacher education programs must be conducted within composite multidisciplinary institutions just like the universities and just like the colleges where multiple disciplines, multiple faculties are there, multiple streams are there. And again, very important recommendation that is all multidisciplinary universities and colleges will aim to establish education departments which besides carrying out cutting edge research in various aspects of education will also run B.Ed programs in collaboration with other departments such as psychology, philosophy, sociology, neuroscience, Indian languages, arts, music, history, literature, physical education, science and mathematics. So try to understand here the teacher education programs what concept has been given, what principles has been given that the multidisciplinary institutions, uh, the institution will provide the teacher education program will also linked with these disciplines so that holistic development of knowledge, holistic development of pedagogic practices will be happened among the teacher. And for the other important recommendation of teacher education as per NEP 2020 or just like all stand alone teacher education institutions will be required to cover to multidisciplinary institutions by 2030 since, since they will have to offer the four year integrated teacher preparation program. Try to understand the, the stand alone teacher education institutions. Now you will find that thousands of stand alone teacher education institutions are there in our country. They are offering the two years B.Ed program, two years M.Ed program and also DLA, two years DLA program. So as per the recommendation of NEP 2020, so all the stand alone teacher education institutions will be converted to multidisciplinary institutions by 2030 and they will offer the four year integrated teacher education program that is called Edge ITEP program. The next four year integrated B.Ed offered by such a disciplinary higher education institutions will by 2030 become the minimal degree qualification for teacher for school teachers. So here what will be the qualifications for the school teachers to appoint as a teacher. So that is why when four year integrated teacher education program will be uh, uh, will be mandatory for this country for preparing teachers then accordingly the qualification of the teachers to be a teacher at the school stage it may be foundational stage or at the preparatory stage or at the middle stage or at the secondary stage should be those have done ITEP program and integrated teacher education program. Further the other important aspect just like four year integrated B. Ed will be a dual major holistic bachelor's degree in education as well as a specialized subject. So in four years what are the, what are the things, what are the learning experiences uh, the teacher educate, the teacher trainees will get. So first of all they will get a teacher education degree. It may be a B.A. degree and at the same time a graduation degree just like uh, B.A. B.A. that means a dual degree the learners will get B.A. with B.A. B.A.C. B.A. they will get a B.A.C. degree with a B.A. degree become B.A. they will get a become degree bachelor in commerce bachelor of commerce and at the same time they will get a B.A. degree. So this is the structure of four year integrated program that they will get a dual degrees. The language, history, music, mathematics, computer science, chemistry, economics, art, physical education, etc., are uh, part of the specialized uh, uh, degree, or uh, you can say uh, 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 this will be the basic degree, you can say with the teacher education degree, with the uh, uh, B.Ed degree. And further, teacher education will include grounding in sociology history, science, psychology, early childhood care education. We have huge teachers, those are at present teaching and engaged uh, uh, in the uh, Anganwadi system, in the nursery education system of, of our country. Uh, and uh, they are not uh, having properly trained. Uh, the data, it may be in few lakhs. Uh, so how to train them? Unless we formalize the early childhood care education, unless we prepare teachers, will take care 
of the early childhood care education we cannot we cannot provide good education so that's why in nep 2020 you will find that uh, the national curriculum framework uh, uh, will also develop and that has been notified that is an early childhood care education means the norms and standards have been developed for implementation has already started and uh, what i mean to say this has been mentioned in nep and this has already uh, implemented and lot of work is going on so how to prepare teachers for nursery education for early childhood care education then for founders uh, for foundational literacy and numeracy ncert has done the mid term mid term survey uh, uh, the assessment the learning assessment of the learners especially in language and mathematics subjects and uh, uh, the report says that uh, the learners mostly the learners the students they are not up to the mark up to the level they have not achieved the minimum level of learning the minimum competencies okay the skills and competencies so far as the uh, fundamental literacy is concerned and fundamental computing that's called as the numeracy is concerned so that's why how to include it in teacher in the rigorous teacher education program so that we can prepare good citizen knowledgeable citizen and uh, who are very much acquainted and very much skilled and competent to uh, to the matter relating to literacy relating to language and at the same time relating to skills of computing then knowledge of india and its values ethos arts traditions it and many more it should be addressed in teacher education program so these are also important aspect that how to prepare uh, you know a value teacher the next is the other recommendations just like higher education in institution offering a four year integrated teacher education program can also run two year bed for students who have already received a bachelor's degree in a specialized area and one year bed for candidates who have received a four year undergraduate degree in a specific specialized area yes four year integrated teacher education program will be there and at the same time they can also run the two year and one year bed for the learners who have already graduated in the present system in the world system okay those have get a three years graduation degree and at the same time those have done a graduation degree four year undergraduate degree for them one year bed program will be developed then now let me do we are at the final uh, you can say end stage of our uh, concluding stage of our presentation let me to focus upon some of the important aspect uh, very relevant recommendation on teacher education as per nep 2020 just like scholarships should be provided for four year two year or one year bed students so that uh, they can attract towards uh, this noble teaching profession and they should come forward to be a teacher and they should pursue the four year integrated teacher education program then efficient faculty in education and related disciplines should be uh, appointed so that they can take care uh, the teacher education program and they will full heartedly involved in preparing teachers then higher education in institution will have network of government and private schools so that the internship and school based activities it should be it should be done properly and again uh, involvement in community service adult and vocational education should be there unless we linked our teachers our teacher education program to community service for the development of different social work we cannot say that we have we have prepared the value teachers so that's what how to integrate and how to uh, uh, you can say uh, integrate teacher education programs with the society and with the community is also another important recommendation then admission through the nta the national uh, testing agency nta will take admission uh, uh, will take the test for admitting the teachers so far as the four year integrated teacher education program is concerned then strengthen multidisciplinary education system as i have already said that how to develop an institution who are multidisciplinary in nature okay so that's why it is it is nowadays or we can say presently this is a challenge before us that how to convert the stand alone teacher education in institution to a multidisciplinary nature of teacher education in institution because it requires huge resources it requires classrooms it requires other resources and mostly it requires teachers subject teachers next uh, 
uh, another important recommendation that is on PhD scholars in education that is also part of teacher education. The dedicated learners after uh, you know doing their master in education. So uh, uh, when they will come forward for pursuing research in education discipline. So what are the different things they are supposed to do? So here PhD program in education should not be an isolated program. Rather, the PhD scholars should, should be involved in teaching credit-based courses. They should teach in the institutions and uh, teaching. They, uh, they should involve in teaching different pedagogy courses. Then they will involve in writing materials, then designing curriculum, then engage in evaluation system and at the same time teaching assistantship certificate. They will involve in teaching assistantship and at the same time certificate certification uh, will also be done for them. So that's why research scholar in education will not uh, do only research in education rather they will get a multiple a multifarious experience in teaching as well as in research. And further uh, if I will focus upon another few important aspects just like so far as the professional development of teacher uh, 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 you know the teacher educators are concerned. So, in service continuous professional development program should be developed through face to face online and blended mode and uh, today you will find that uh, uh, many online courses, it may be in Soyam, it may be in Diksha that have been developed and uh, millions of teachers they are getting enrolled, they are registering themselves in Soyam courses and uh, even if in the Diksha platform and they are getting uh, uh, you know uh, developed themselves so far as pedagogy is concerned, so far as the contextual learning methods are concerned, contextual development in science and technology is concerned. And finally, standardized online teaching programs for large number of teachers uh, that is uh, uh, today also it is happening and in future this is expected that uh, the number of professional development online programs for the teachers and teacher educators will be developed for the benefit of the teachers. And finally, this is the last slides, a national mission for mentoring shall be established with a large pool of outstanding senior or retired faculty including those with the ability to teach in Indian languages who would be willing to provide short and long term mentoring or professional support to university and college teachers. So how to use, how to use the expertise of the senior persons those can provide better mentoring to the institutions and to the universities. This is also another important recommendations of teacher education as per NDP 2020. Friends for further queries you can write to me niradhar.ignu.ac.in you can make me a telephone call my intercom is 2994 you can visit my Facebook my YouTube channel as Professor Bhaskarji said that is transforming education. You will find more than 260 video lessons are there and uh, many uh, uh, contextual video lessons you will find relating to NEP on teacher education and other aspects. Uh, thank you so much uh, for providing this opportunity to discuss on teacher education aspect of NEP 2020. Thank you.